Hello, everybody. So today we're going to continue with our discussion of writing two-digit, uh, three-digit numbers um, using models and a place value chart. So listen and draw the following problem. So Sebastian has 243 yellow blocks. 243 yellow blocks. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in this number? Why don't you go ahead and pause and see if you can fill in the hundreds chart and draw a quick picture of that. And then you can check your answer. All right. 243. So we should have drawn... 200 blocks, four tens, and three ones. 200 plus 40 plus 3 is 243. All right, how about this part? Okay, listen to this and then pause the video and fill out the place value chart and draw a quick picture. All right, so what if Sebastian instead has 423 red blocks? So again, he has 423 red blocks. Fill out the place value chart and draw a quick picture of that number. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, so what'd you come up with? We said, 423. So four hundreds, we have four hundred blocks. We would have two ten rods and we'd have three ones. So we could write this as 400. That's what the 400 blocks represents. Plus the two tens, which is 20 plus the three ones. And if we write that together, it's 423. Okay. All right, let's look at page 70. <clears throat> All right, so write how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in the model. And then what are two ways to write this number? All right, so let's see. We have 200 blocks. We have four tens. And we have two, four, six, seven ones. So that's what they've written here. Two hundreds, four tens, seven ones, which we read as 247. We could also break it apart by its place value. How many hundred blocks did we have? We had two, so that's 200. We had four tens, which would be 40. And we had seven ones which is seven, 247, All right? So now let's you try it, okay? Write, and, write how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in the model and then write the number in two ways. All right, so here I see 100 block. So I'm just gonna put a one in the hundreds place. And then I see two, four, six tens. And I don't see any one blocks. All right. So what is this number? It's 160, right? So we write that as 100 plus 60. Six tens is 60. And zero ones. All right. How about number two? All right. We have two hundreds. We have two tens and we have five ones. So that's 225. So how do we write that by its place value? Two hundreds is written as 200. Two tens is written as 20. And five ones is five. 225. Number three, again, we have two hundreds, 
because then we have three tens and we have nine ones. So 239. How do we write that by place value? 200s is 200, 3 tens is 30, 9 ones is 9. So the sum of the place value is 239. <clears throat> Look at page 71. Continue with the same thing, okay? Write how many hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, if you feel like you understand this, I would pause the video, go ahead and solve all the problems, and then maybe come back and check your answers, okay? So, three hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. So, we'd say this is 304, okay? We have a zero in the tens place. So, we'd have... 300, 0 in the tens place, and 4 ones. 300, 4. Number 5, you should have come up with 300s, 7 tens, 8 ones. <clears throat> so there's a 3 in the hundreds place. There's a 7 in the tens place, and there's an 8 in the ones place. 378. We can write that as 300 plus 70 plus 8. Okay, number 6. This time I see four hundreds. I see two tens and six ones. So how do we write that? We'd have a four in the hundreds place, we'd have a two in the tens place, and we'd have a six in the ones place, 426. So four hundreds would be written as the number 400, two tens is written as 20, and six ones is written as six. 426. Right, number seven, <clears throat> solve, write, or draw to explain. A model for my number has four ones, five tens, and seven hundreds. What number am I? Okay, well, let's start with the seven hundred blocks. Let's write them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I got seven hundred blocks. Five tens and four ones. All right. So seven hundred, right, for the seven hundred blocks. Five tens is written as fifty, and the four ones would be written as four. So just read it seven hundred fifty four. All right, let's look at page 72. All right, number eight. The hundredths digit of my number is greater than the tens digit. The ones digit is less than the tens digit. What could my number be? Write it in two ways. All right, so let's see. The hundredths digit has to be bigger than the ten. Okay, well, let's say I had two hundreds. Well, then that would mean the tens would have to be one because that's the only way to make the hundreds bigger than the tens. But it says, and the ones is less than the tens. So I could have that number, right? I could have 210. Could I have 321? Is the hundreds number greater than the tens? Yes. And is the ones digit less than the tens? Yes. Okay. 
So there's going to be multiple answers. Okay. You just have to make sure that your answer matches the clues. Okay. Again, I could go four, three, two. I could say four, two, one. Okay. Multiple, multiple answers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say 421. Okay, so the ten, the hundreds digit is greater than the tens, and the ones digit is less than the tens. So 421. All right, number nine. Karen has these bags of marbles. How many marbles does Karen have? All right, well, we see two hundreds. That's the two hundred blocks, right? So if we were writing out a hundreds chart, we could do this. Hundreds, tens, ones. All right. How many hundreds do we have? Well, we have two. How many tens do we have? We have one, two, three. Three bags of tens. How many ones? I don't see any ones, so that's got to be zero. All right, well, we would just write it as 230, right? 200 plus three tens plus zero ones. 230. And just explain it. There are what? There are two. hundreds bags and three ten bags so 200 plus 30 equals 230 all right so to continue practicing have a, um, a family member um, say some three digit numbers uh, something like 546 and then see if you can draw a quick picture for that number. See if you can write it in two different ways where we use the sum, the sum of the place value, and a quick picture, or a quick picture, I mean, okay? So write it like this, 247, or the sum of its place value. All right, so that's it for lesson 2-4. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.